Hey, book club, Dan from One Man Book Club with a book I'm really, really excited to share with you, especially if you love beautiful, beautiful writing in your fantasy novels. This is Strange the Dreamer by Liney Taylor. Now, I know Liney Taylor. I've read her Smoke and Bowen's Daughter to Smoke and Bowen series, and I expect a fantasy romance when I pick up Strange the Dreamer. And funny enough, I found exactly that, except I actually found a lot more. You see, Lainey Taylor keeps surprising me. Now, I'm the reading dad. I call romance novels barf because I don't like to read stories with, you know, shirtless guys on the cover. But her stories push the blurry lines of demarcation that separates a romance novel, which is barf, from a story with a romance in it, which is brilliant. But both her Daughter of Smoke and Bone series and now Strange the Dreamer managed to stay wonderfully romantic while telling a really, really great fantasy story. If there's a sweet spot to be found in that blurry line of demarcation, she has found it and she's made it her thing. Now, Stranger Dreamers is, 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 is as beautifully written as it is whimsical. I mean, it is just so lovely to read this book. I'm a fantasy loving dad with a soft spot for a great, a great love story. And I was entertained by the world building, the, the captivating imagery. I was pulled along by the mystery. I was captured by the characters. I was spellbound by this really, really beautiful love story. Now, there's no way, there's just no way I could have pulled myself away. I was hooked from this really cruelly teasing prologue and I did not find the answers I needed for 500 pages. It was cruel and it was awesome. Uh, there's no language, uh, there's some PG, uh, I'm sorry, there's some PG frights, um, there's a same gender relationship among secondary characters, if that's important for you to know. Um, the romantic love is mostly in the form of chaste kissing and lots and lots of desire. 99% of the content is comfortably accessible for teen readers, I would say 16 and up. However, there is one scene involving teen characters where the descriptions get steamy enough, I would feel more feel pretty uncomfortable reading them out loud with my teenagers. And since that's the barometer I use for measuring these kinds of things, I'll say that Strange the Dreamer as a whole is appropriate for 18 and up. The scene in question is actually on page 425. It's mild really as these things go, but I'm a dad and I have teens who might be interested in the book. So, you know, there you go. Take what you want with it. Uh, now that you know, you can just make that decision for yourself. A note on the audiobook. It's performed flawlessly by Steve West, who I know best from his performance of the Queen's Thief series. It was super hard to get his distinct voice away from the voices of the Queen's Thief, but once I did, it was fine. Brilliant, brilliant uh, narrator for audiobook. Anyway, I haven't been held this tight by a story in a long time. I really loved it. Uh, and now... Um, uh, I, uh, I, I'm excited to go jump off into book two, which is Muse of Nightmares, and there'll be a review of that one coming up for you shortly. Happy reading, everyone.